So I have been hoarding a bunch of peach pits from some good sweet peaches for a while now, but today I'm going to show you how I germinate peach seeds the fast way. Now I've also shared everything you need to crack open peach pits in another video that's linked in the description and at the end of this video too, just in case you need to watch it. So once I get the seeds out of the pit, I put them in a paper towel. The fast way to germinate peach seeds is using the paper towel method. And I use the paper towel method not only to try to germinate seeds fast, but really when I want to know exactly which seeds are going to germinate and which aren't because once you put them in soil it's just it's too hard to tell. Now you want your paper towel to be moist. What I do now is I soak the paper towel in water and then wring it all out. That's all the moisture you need. I've tested it out and it works. I don't do that in this video and something else that you don't see me doing in this video is adding more water to the paper towel. I have a bad habit of doing that and when there's too much water the seeds can start to rot. And sometimes you'll see mold, but you can just wipe that off and disinfect the seed with hydrogen peroxide. But once I've got the seeds in the moist paper towel, I put it in a plastic bag while I wrap it up and put it in a plastic bag and make sure it's sealed all the way. And then I just put it in a dark place. You really don't need to put the seeds in the refrigerator. It's just not necessary. And the reason why I say that is because the peach seeds started showing signs of germination in just seven days. As you can see, the roots were starting to show themselves and it was all in just seven days. So you don't have to put them in the refrigerator. It doesn't need a cold stratification so it is what it is do what you want though so like i was telling you before too much moisture can lead to rot and with peach seeds it'll start to turn mushy and it'll ooze out of the brown protective skin and it just it smells bad it stinks and some others that have rotted they'll look like they're still viable but they're actually a little bit soft and if you start to look around the seed you'll see some pits in it so throw those out because those are no good also if some of the brown protective skin comes off and you notice that there's still a chance for germination, like it's still firm and plump, wrap it up in the paper towel, but keep an eye on it because sometimes that exposed portion will start to rot away if it's kept in direct contact with moisture for too long. So just make sure you're checking on the seeds periodically. And after about 19 days, maybe sooner for some seeds, because some seeds germinate faster than others, um, you should see a root system start to develop. And you may even see the peach tree has started to grow too. It'll look leggy if the peach tree started to grow, and that's because it's looking for light and that's normal so don't worry about that something else to remember is that some of the seeds might not grow at all so if you have hope just leave them in the paper towel for a little bit longer and some seeds can also be troublesome you know they'll start to germinate but they'll keep getting moldy or something and again if you have hope don't give up on them for the moldy seeds just put them in a cup of water and hydrogen peroxide maybe like a 50 50 mix and the hydrogen peroxide will kill the mold and then you can just put it in a new paper towel and continue waiting so I just put all the peach seeds in hydrogen peroxide just in case and I leave them in there for about 20 to 30 minutes. So for the seeds that have grown, you know, the root system and the little tree, I'm going to plant them in small containers. You don't want to use a pot that's too big because it'll hold too much moisture and the peach tree seedling might die from rot. And if you don't have any small pots, you can also use food containers, bottles, something like that. That's okay to use too. I've used them before. It's fine. One thing that I like to do is make my own potting mix and I like to use coconut core, shale, and perlite. And I go a little bit heavier on the perlite and the shale because I like my mixes to be well draining to help prevent overwatering because I have a bad habit of overwatering things. And now would actually be a good time to lightly fertilize the seedlings that you planted. Um, I actually use a water soluble liquid fertilizer by miracle Grow, and I've had good results with that so no complaints over here. Now if you look you can see that the root system and the peach tree seedling both grow from the pointed end. Nothing grows from the rounded end and that's something to keep in mind just in case you decide to skip the paper towel method and just plant the seed straight into potting mix so i would just plant it sideways if you decide to do that too i also want to say if you find that the roots are growing through the paper towel and you have a hard time getting them out because you don't want to break the roots just plant the paper towel too it'll break down in the potting mix it's not a big deal so it's fine to plant the paper towel now going back to the moldy seeds that i put in the hydrogen peroxide most of these can be thrown out they've broken open but they're no good all but one really has a chance at life just because you know there's already a little root growing and the seeds that haven't shown any sign of growth at all i'm going to go ahead and put back into a paper towel and see if they're just being stubborn and need a little bit more time so on day 25 i decided to do my final check on the seeds that i had hoped for the moldy seed with the root is the only survivor and from the group of seeds that weren't growing at all there still wasn't any growth and i just got rid of all of them you'll have some seeds that just aren't viable and it's normal but 
I planted that rooted seed and put it with the rest of the seedlings under a regular soft white high lumen LED light that I got from Walmart. And this is what the other peach tree seedlings look like after getting some light. Now I bottom water my seedlings and I try not to let them dry out all the way. A few of these trees have actually died from me overwatering, and a few of them have actually died from letting them dry out too much too. So if you see them starting to wilt, water them ASAP because sometimes they won't recover. Not all of your peach tree seedlings will survive anyway, but these are the peach trees that are still standing today. And something to keep in mind when growing your own peach trees from seed, if you get to the point where the trees are starting to produce fruit, apparently they won't be true, meaning they won't produce the exact same fruit that you had. It might taste good, it might taste okay, or it might taste bad, but that should not discourage you. I see a lot of discouragement from people whenever someone talks about growing fruit from seed just for fun. Listen, you can get a grafted tree so you know exactly what you're going to get when it starts to produce fruit or you could have some fun roll the dice and grow your own and possibly grow the next best variety this world has ever tasted because there's always a chance for that you know think positive right either way there are always lessons to be learned and shared no matter the outcome so good luck germinating your peach seeds and i wish you lots of growth and sweet